the, both the blogs that I developed, there's, or several blogs that I developed, one on soccer this year, were linked to courses, to actually large courses where I had about 50, 50 60 students. Um, and part of it was, I, I guess, a response to, to some challenges I feel like are, you know, pressure that's put on the, co the process of education itself um, and the kind of serious limits, I think, that the, the ways in which we were dealing with certain questions um, in, in a moment when so, man, so much the students were kind of operating more and more through, through the, the web itself um, posed in the classroom. In other words, I kind of feeling like the classroom was, was unnecessarily limited in scope. Um, and so thinking about the web as a, as a site to sort of change, transform the classroom and, and kind of intersect with the space of, in which we're together physically with, with a broader um, context. The other thing I think, uh, I guess I would say is, I mean, I think the real challenge is figuring out how to kind of bust open the walls of the university in, in terms of thinking no longer about the classroom as kind of one very settled place. Um, of course, you know, the class, the class remains a certain kind of relationship, um, but it can be opened up, I think, in, in really interesting ways. And that's one of the things I tried to do with the, the soccer blog, which began as something to invite, um, to invite students to think about producing knowledge for a broader public, first of all. In other words, to, rather than to, th to think about the course as a place in which we would, we would explore certain things together, but in which we would also think about what we might want to produce or put out there for, for a broader public. 